Hey guys, welcome to Still Horse History Adventures. My name is Justin, uh, and this is going to be the introduction video, kind of give you a brief overview of who I am, what the channel is going to be about, and why I would want to do this. Now, let's start with my introduction first. My name is Justin Poole. I'm originally from the state of South Carolina, but I'm from upstate South Carolina, just outside of Greenville, Spartanburg. I grew up in a little foothills town um, that most of y'all probably never heard of, Williamston, South Carolina. Now, right after high school, I decided to join the United States military, and I spent from 2003 to 2013 in the United States Air Force. Uh, for the majority of that time, I was a C-130 loadmaster, and I got to participate in two wars, both Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, that makes me a combat veteran, and when I got out, and I've slowly made my way here to Charleston, South Carolina, I eventually joined the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association, which I'm still a member of today. So, shout out to all my CVMA members out there, and all of those of you who support us. Uh, if you guys are curious who we are, you can go ahead and look up the uh, Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association online. Our motto is Vets Helping Vets, and that's exactly what we do. But to move on, I am also a tour guide in downtown Charleston, South Carolina. Now, I'm a certified tour guide, which means that I have passed a college-level examination to become a tour guide. And I know there are people out there who go and take that test. They pass it, they brain dump all the information, and all they talk about the entire time as a tour guide in Charleston is the history and the local legends they heard growing up as a kid, rather than the valid source information that is pretty easy to look up. Now, I don't know many people like that. I've only met a handful of people like that, and they usually didn't last very long as a tour guide in Charleston, because usually you guys are the ones that call them out on it, and they usually don't get very good reviews. But with all that said, my history, um, knowledge is mostly about Charleston, South Carolina, but I do want to branch out. I want to learn more of the history of the state of South Carolina as a whole, not just the overall how we became uh, South Carolina, but more individual history for the specific locations. Now, one of my passions is history. My other passion is motorcycles. So when I decided to make this channel, I decided to combine the two together. The entire point of this channel is I'm going to ride my motorcycle, maybe with friends, maybe by myself, out to these historic locations. Some of them in downtown Charleston, some in the surrounding area, and some of them, those little historic markers we see on the side of the highway that a lot of people just don't pay any attention to. When I get to these sites, I'm going to have the information ready. And I'm going to share as much of the information about these sites that I can. And obviously, I'm going to try to show you as much of the site as I can get away with showing you. Obviously, some of the places are protected by uh, different organizations, and they may or may not allow me to bring a camera inside. If that's the case, I'll let you know at the very beginning of the video. But I'm still going to share as much of the information as I possibly can about the site. Now, one disclaimer for you guys. I know that some of the history I'm going to talk about is not necessarily the best history in the world. Some of it's actually quite terrible events that happened. Now... With that said, just because I'm talking about something doesn't mean that I actually agree with the subject matter or that I agree with the actions of the people who committed uh, those events or those atrocities. But I'm still going to have to bring you some of those events. I'm still going to have to talk about them because that's the entire point. If we just knock out all the negative side of our history and only keep the positive side, well, then we washed history and we kind of washed it clean to where we don't actually understand what really happened. So some of the things I'm going to bring you are going to be great parts of our history. Some of the things I'm going to bring you are going to be terrible parts of our history. But I'm going to try my best to remain as completely unbiased as I can in all these subjects. But I also want to point out one other thing. Because some of these sites are sites that A, I may have never been to before, or B, things that I'm not overly familiar with and I don't talk about on a normal basis, there may be times where I end up getting something wrong. If I do and you know that I've gotten it wrong, do me a favor. Instead of leaving a nasty comment down in the comments to tell me how terrible I am and how stupid I am, how about we do this? Go over to the description of the channel, find the email address that I've left in there, send it over to me, right? And let me know what it is that I've gotten wrong, in which video I've gotten it wrong, and also provide cited sources for why you know that I'm wrong. Because if you don't provide cited sources, I'm just going to assume that you're telling me whatever your grandma told you. And as much as I love our grandmothers, right, we all know that our grandmothers are not necessarily historians. They're not necessarily valid sources of history, unless it's talking about their own history or an event they actually lived through. But again, that's only their historical account and may not be comprehensive into the entirety of what happened in that event. So if you can provide some cited sources and I find out that I'm wrong, I'm not above admitting that I am wrong. I will go ahead and in the very next video, I'm going to do a shout out to you. I'm going to go ahead and provide the information that um, I had gotten wrong and correct it right there on the video. Now, if it's one thing that I got so wrong that I need to do a complete comprehensive uh, 
review of that video, I may completely redo the video altogether and kind of give you credit for calling me out, right? But let's just make sure we do it in a professional manner because if we're just down there trashing me, I'm just gonna assume that you don't like my channel. Now, I'm gonna try my best not to block anybody and remove any comments. I'm gonna try my best to make sure that comments are always available in each and every video. But if you guys really just don't like my channel, you can go ahead and find a different channel, right? But I'm hoping I'm bringing content that you guys love. And so if you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and also make sure you hit that little bell over in the corner that gives you notifications for every time I upload a video. It's the best way to keep track of when videos come in so you can get it up to date. Now, there may be different styles of support you guys can show me later on but right now we're just dealing with the youtube channel i may end up setting up a facebook may set up an instagram and as soon as i have all that up you guys will be the first to know but thanks for checking my video out this is just the introduction and there's a lot more great content to come but one thing before we go when you're out there riding around please make sure you check twice you could save a life motorcycle riders are pretty hard to see sometimes i know i've been almost hit more times than i can count and i'm just rolling down the road obeying the laws of the road and somebody pulls out in front of me so check twice save a life and make sure that you're out there taking care of each other if you need help with something make sure that you ask out for help reach out to your friends if you're in a bad place because every single day there's multiple people who commit suicide including in the veteran community it's the famous 22 a day we want to go ahead and stop that the best that we can so if you're having a hard time reach out to somebody make sure you get your help and take care of each other Till next time y'all have a good one